What's going on gang and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to take a look at how you can find the exact notes being played in your melody so that you can make your 808 patterns in seconds. So let's get right into this. <laughs> Alright guys, so this will work if you made your own melody or if you have your own sample. But if you made your own melody, it's super, super simple. You're just going to follow the same notes in your melody that you have in your 808. And if you have chords in your melody, then what you're going to do is you're going to follow the bottom note on the chord. It's really that simple. But if you have a sample like this, it can be a lot harder to figure out where the 808 notes go. So I've been doing something recently that I wanted to share with you guys because you can literally take this and within a matter of seconds, you can know exactly which 808s go in which notes so that you have perfect 808 pattern every time and it never sounds off and there is no guess and checking. So literally all you have to do is you create another MIDI track, put some kind of an instrument on it. I have Omnisphere on here, but it doesn't matter what instrument you use as long as there's an instrument on it. This will not work on just a regular MIDI track. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this sample and drag it onto here and we're going to click create a harmony from it. Now what it's going to do is it's going to analyze all the notes that went into making this melody and it's going to create a MIDI track for us from that. So now we got all these notes here and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this down and I'm going to drag it up here into the 808 track where I have my 808 sample right here. Now let's double click and look at this now. You can see that there's a whole mess of notes and like I said before, if you're using if you're using chords or anything, you're going to be using the bottom notes. So we're just going to be taking the bottom notes of all this anyways. So let's go ahead and just delete everything up here, get all this junk gone so we don't have to worry about it. And we're just going to be using these bottom notes here. Okay, so now we know if we're going to play an 808 at any certain segment, these are the notes that we're going to follow. And we can clean this up really quick. We can press command U to go ahead and get them all in the right place here. I'm just going to slide this one over, make sure everything else looks pretty good. Awesome. And then what you can do is you can just press legato right here to lengthen them all out. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them up. I'm going to put them one. So I'm going to start. Oh, look at that. We even have a note up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave them one octave below where I'm going to play my 808 notes. And what I'm going to do is select all of them and press zero on the keyboard to deactivate them. And now when I go to make my notes, I can line them up exactly and know where to play them. So let's make a quick 808 pattern so that you can see that we did it correctly. So let's make sure that this is going right. In fact, what I'm going to do is I already laid out all these individual melodies and I'm just going to take out the bass so that we don't have any clashingness with our melody and our 808s. All right, so let's go ahead and make an 808 pattern now. So the first note we have is an A. So we can go ahead and grab an A here. And I'm probably going to put this up in octaves. It'll sound better there. So we'll probably use a note like this right here. So we can go ahead and put this up to F. Press 0 to activate it. And then we're going to follow this down like we did here. And then you're going to want to play with it. Obviously, you're not going to want to follow the notes exactly. You're going to want to still make it sound like the pattern, but these are going to be your guide notes now. Okay. And then you can literally keep going with it. And now you have the exact notes that you need to keep going with this melody. And there you go. We just created an 808 pattern in a matter of seconds by going ahead and using that little trick that Ableton has to convert our audio file into a harmony. So it's really that simple, guys. And then from here, you can go in and dial it in perfect now that you have your guide notes and you have a basic layout 
and it's really gonna save you so much freaking time. All right guys, so that's gonna wrap up this quick tutorial on how to find the perfect notes in any melody and make your 808 patterns without having to overthink it, double check any of the notes or do anything like that. This is gonna save you so much time down the line. So go ahead and start using this. This is the best way that I found to do it even faster than any of the other ways by by far far thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end if you enjoyed this one please smash that like button for me and subscribe to the channel if you're new here because we're uploading videos every single day that you're not going to want to miss out on and besides that i'll be catching you guys again in the next one peace out